Now to Surfside, where stormy weather from Elsa has been delaying search and rescue operations. Crews recovered eight more victims today, bringing the death toll to 36. And police identifying these victims tonight. 76-year-old Nancy Cress-Levin and her son, 52-year-old Jay Kleiman and 67-year-old Francis Fernandez. Another emotional day for families as the first funerals for some of the collapsed victims were held today. More than 100 people are still missing tonight. Local 10's Christian Dolorosa is live in Surfside with the latest on the search. Christian. And there was bad weather, lightning that brought the crews to a halt, but that was only a couple of hours of a pause. It is so busy out here, even tonight. Let me have you go ahead and zoom in. As they're finding more victims, they're also finding what search and rescue teams called golden evidence. So things like pictures and documents and other personal items that can help them lead them to even more victims still under the rubble. Without the threat of a falling tower, we're seeing more manpower above this mountain of sadness and loss. Over 200 first responders from across the country working all areas of the site, digging for closure. We have recovered four additional victims. Please keep these victims and these families in your hearts and prayers. More access means a better assessment of where victims might be. So, for example, if we have learned that there was someone at the 11th floor and there was somebody at the 7th floor between 11 and 7, we can uh, proceed a little more quickly. Tuesday night, our cameras rolling up and close. So this is the closest we've been able to get to the site. What you see behind me is a new rubble from the demolition on the other side is the site where search and rescue teams continue their mission. What's striking right off the bat, of course, the personal items, right? The furniture, the cushions, the clothing. Those in charge say this is still a search and rescue mission, but they admit so far they have found no signs or even the possibility of life. You know, unfortunately, we're not seeing anything positive uh, that continues in that sense of voice space, livable spaces. You know, we're not coming across that. So very difficult uh, for the families to hear that. Uh, five million pounds of debris has already been removed from the site. All of it will be stored as evidence. And there is still so much work to be done here. Keep in mind what we're being told is that the first six stories of the tower is below ground just because of how violent the collapse was. We're live in Surfside. I'm Christian De La Rosa, Local 10 News.